So you think that Weapon Bar is around? Well, think again. Welcome to Millennium 7 Star, the channel that helps you make sense of military history and military technology. Today we are talking about the polygonal rifle. This is a subject that is very well known for all the people who are actually passionate about small arms and uh, do shooting, but it is an interesting curiosity for everybody else. So I suppose that everybody knows that barrels have rifling. Rifling means that there are grooves inside the barrel and these grooves actually engage with the round and impart a rotatory motion to the round. This improves the stability of the projectile while in flight, increases the precision, increases uh, the range and also reduces the sensitivity to the weight. So it is an important feature of every weapon. Every... However, there is a different type of rifling, which is the polygonal rifling, which simply means that the bore of the barrel is not round, but it's just a polygon, hexagonal in the past, mostly, or octagonal. In 1853, James Whitworth in England started experimenting with cannons with an hexagonal bore, and uh, the projectile was hexagonal. Results were actually good, uh, precision was quite high, and the range was definitely superior of the smooth bores in use uh, at the time. However, the British Army refused uh, the Whitworth design, considering it a bit too complex and not really proven. However, during the American Civil War, which started shortly after, Whitworth managed to sell the um, Whitworth rifle that was considered probably the most accurate rifle in use at the time. And it could shoot uh, normal bullets, it didn't require the exact normal bullets like the cannons and it had a success. What are the advantages of the polygonal rifle? The main advantage is that the bullet fits a bit tighter uh, into the barrel, so less gas escapes in front of the bullet, so with the same cartridge you can have slightly higher uh, muzzle velocity. 